once you understand the causality of ApoB, meaning once you understand that ApoB is not just associated with cardiovascular disease, but it's causally linked to it, meaning it causes ASCVD. To get into this discussion about managing 10-year risk, thinking about being in this percent versus this percent, makes no sense. The analogy I use is cigarettes with lung cancer. Nobody disputes that cigarettes are causally linked to lung cancer. Our approach to patients who smoke is very clear, which is never smoke, and if you do smoke, stop immediately. And so similarly, it makes no sense that we would look at a causal driver of ASCVD in the case of ApoB and kind of take an approach of well, being at the 20th percentile or the 30th percentile or the 40th percentile is acceptable. None of those things really make sense. You have something that is causing the disease, you should eliminate it as soon as possible. 